cold fronts and the tropics trying to get more active. There is one area off the coast of Florida being given a low percent chance. This is actually associated with an upper level low and that's moving toward the east. So not really worried about that. And we're not worried about the system that is down to our south. The actual system that is trying to develop is east of the Yucatan. If you were with me yesterday, we were talking about this being the remnants of Agatha. This now is underneath an upper low, so it's not going to develop. This system that we're likely going to see try and form is the one that again yesterday we were highlighting it just off the east coast of the Yucatan and it looks like that one may be trying to get a little bit better organized but it is struggling this is the daylight imagery of that feature definitely kind of a broad circulation you do see some thunderstorm development around the eastern side of it so it is attempting to get better organized and the models are trying to get a better grasp of it however the hurricane center is saying that little invest is right there when it is already well to the east, so kind of keep that in mind when you look at the track of the forecast models, really taking it more into southern Florida. But with that system a little bit more east, perhaps it's maybe more going to be along these paths, which take it a little bit more toward maybe, uh, say, uh, south of Naples, Florida, down toward the Keys. And if that is the case, then we wouldn't see nearly the amount of rainfall across the entirety of the Florida Peninsula. Because right now, if it does take a little bit more of a northerly track, that's just going to bring more of that heavy rainfall across the state. So here's kind of what the models are looking at. And again, what we're looking at here is where the models are trying to figure out a center. Again, still kind of confused as to that broad circulation here. But again, a little bit more agreement with the models having it off the east coast of uh, the Yucatan. They're going a little bit more almost a due northeast, and it may be a little bit more east of this just based on where the storm uh, the circulation is right now, taking it more towards central Florida. And then the good news is after Saturday into Sunday, Monday, that system is moving off to the East Coast and away from the United States. Again, what we have is very dry air across most of the Gulf. I was mentioning that upper low. You can kind of see that little feature right here. That's actually going to kind of kick that system off in the direction of Florida. Dry air is our friend, as is wind shear, which both will stay in place for the next several days. It'd be great if we could keep this through the entirety of the hurricane season because this is going to rip any kind of system apart in the Gulf of Mexico, which is why whatever does try and form, if it gets near that dry air or the wind shear, is going to keep it kind of more lopsided and very weak.